What is up guys? Apathy back in the building with another video today and today is going to be a very sad and depressing video but I was contemplating of doing it, not doing it. I wasn't entirely sure but I think it's important I get my message across and really talk to you guys about something I find very 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 important in life and just in general and I know a lot of the audience that watch me are a lot younger than me definitely and probably still you guys are still teenagers and i think this is really important to uh, to go throughout your life with advice i'm gonna give you soon but before i continue with this video i just want to say you know today was a very sad day uh a lot of you guys know fizzer phil he passed away today in a car accident and it's been all day man i've been freaking literally sad all day just thinking about it you know it's just, it's, it's heartbreaking, man. It's it's literally heartbreaking. Phil was such a good dude. I remember every time we see each other at event, man, he was just such a cool and chill dude. Always happy. Always trying to be spread positivity and chill around with the homies. And it just, it sucks to see him, you know, pass away so young, man. And, you know, just... May he rest in peace. And... It, Man, the, the, the way I found out the news was today, I actually, uh, me and Maria were together because we're getting married in two months and we were together doing some, like a, it's like a ceremonial thing that you do, like a Catholic church asks you to do. And it's basically like, it's like kind of like a class and you and they explain to you about like getting married by church and what you should do, what you shouldn't do and all these things. And I was in the middle of this class, and I decided to scroll down through Twitter real quickly, and out of nowhere, I see you rip Fizzer. And at first, I thought it was a joke, you know, I'm like, no way this is real right now, like, no way this is happening. And I started to look a little bit more deep into it, and I started to look, I started, like, scroll around more and, and go to the hashtag. And then I saw the video of, you know, Fizzer's girlfriend crying and explaining everything, and I, I literally, like, I was about to shed a tear mid-class. And I was trying so hard to hold back because I'm like, no way, this is fu this just happened. I was in complete shock, and it's like, like it's, like I I was never like extremely close with Phil, but I've known Phil for like seven years now. Like ever since I went pro, I knew him, and we talked here and there, and you know we were like chill with each other. Obviously, I was never like extremely close with him, like some of like some of the pro players in the community, but man, it's just it's heartbreaking. The past like, it's just been it's been crazy, man, and. I was in complete shock. I was devastated. I felt like when I read that news, my heart just broke into a million pieces. And it's just, it's just so unfair, you know? Like. He was too young, man. That shouldn't, that shouldn't happen. But. It did. And it, and it fucking sucks. And, you know, his, his best friend died in the crash shoot. And I didn't know him at all, but. I you know, hope you rest in peace too. And it just sucks for the families and everything. Like people don't understand how much of a toll that is, you know, on everyone. But, you know, th this is not the reason. I'm, obviously, you know, it's just part of the reason why I'm doing a video today. But I just want to have a message for you guys. And a lot of you guys don't know this. I did explain this in one of my videos uh, almost two years ago. I talked about a little bit about it. But I lost my brother, my big brother, when he was 20 years old. I, I was 10 years old at the time. I lost him. He died in a in a bike and motorcycle accident, and it, it was it was crazy. I I couldn't believe it. it. Took me it took me like two years to accept that it actually happened. And like when you lose someone that young, especially someone you love deeply, you know it's just. You just wish it never happened, that it's not true, and that he doesn't deserve it, and all these things. But it happened, man, and I just think the biggest thing in life, and, you know, I, w I really want you guys to really believe this and try to, you know, try to live life like this, is to be happy and live life to the fullest, man, because you never know when you're going to go. And I, and I tell you this because not even, even if it's, even if it's not your fault, like, Accidents can happen. You could be at the wrong place at the wrong time and accidents could happen like they can happen You know, it's it's not impossible and I just think It's important to live your life to the fullest and you know be the best person you can be spread love and positivity not hate You know try to be generous 
show love to your family members you know the people you see every day if you if you don't like you know just saying a simple i love you to your to your mom or to your girlfriend or you know spread love and chase your dreams you know don't like don't live life like you're like i don't know guys it's People ask me all the time, like, why are you always so positive, Apathy? Why are you always so happy? Like, I never, I rarely ever see you mad. Like, why are you always just jolly and happy and all these things? It's because I, 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 I will not let myself feel mad or sad or I will, I will not allow that in my life. Like, obviously, there's times where I can't control it. There's times where it's going to get to me. I'm only human. But I always try myself. I always try to keep that positive attitude. I always try to be the best person I could be. I always try to spread positivity, and you know, it's just I find that's very important in life because, like I said, you never know when you can go, man. Life's too fucking short, and you know, sadly, seeing all these people pass away, and you know, my brother passing away when I was a very young age, you know, it really made me realize that, and I just think it's important that you're always happy and you know that that you try not to be sad or mad because those are those are emotions you do not you do not need in your life like they're just they make things worse and that's a huge reason why i'm always trying to be happy and i'm always trying to you know keep good vibes and because i've been through the bad times i've seen the worst and you know like i said life's too short and you why live such a why live such a shitty and and bad life you know you never know the next you know next day something had happened on me to me but i got some wood and you know at, at least i can say that i think i lived a pretty good life like i chased my dreams you know every day for the most part every day i was doing what i love i was always trying to be happy i spread positivity and love and i just think that's really important and i want you guys to understand that and you know, live your life to the fullest, and just be the best person you can be. Chase your dreams. I don't want you guys to live such like average and negative life. And you know, some of you guys probably feel dude right now, and or feel that way. But I want you guys to soar high. Like I want you guys to reach for the stars, and just really, really chase your dreams. Like you, like nothing's, like you never know what could happen. Just, fucking live your life to the fullest i find that so important and it's just i find that like not even i find that extremely important that you have that mindset that you know it's possible you got you gotta accept reality that's possible that something could happen and just live life to the fullest like obviously don't do don't do what i mean life to live life to the fullest don't do anything stupid now like don't start being reckless and because that now you're just asking for some shit to happen to you but i mean like taste your dreams give 110 percent put in the effort like if you like think about it this way if you pass away now obviously i said like some of you guys are pretty young and i hope you guys really carry out this message but this just pertains to people who are a little bit older obviously but or at least you know old kind of old but like if you were to pass away today can you say you lived a pretty good life can you say that your life was actually like can you say that you did you live life to the fullest that you're happy not probably fully happy but that you're kind of happy what you did and how you did things a lot of you guys you know i'm, I'm pretty i'm assuming but a lot of you guys are probably say no and that you want to do more and that you wish you did more and that you wish you showed love to your to your to your parents or you wish you lost weight and or you wish that you dated this girl that you really loved and all these things and I just feel like that's what you should be doing now. You should come to realize that and work hard for, for the things you want in your life. And just try to live the best life you could be. Try to be the best person you could be. And I just want you guys to also be safe, man. Don't, don't ever do anything stupid. You know, be cautious. Be smart about things. I understand, like, when you're young, you're reckless. And you want to do this. You want to do that. But you got to be smart, man. Like, I'm not I'm not gonna take it any farther than that. But just please be smart, be careful, you know. 
I hate when I see a fucking a guy driving a hundred miles down the down the street, or a motor or or or, or yeah, a motorcycle like speeding, like on down the street, like zooming through between cars, like that's anything could happen to that guy. One little mistake and that guy's flying. He's probably dead. Like. It's not only it's not only what's driving. I just be smart in general, but I'm just saying like those are examples. And you know, I really care for each and single one of you, and I want to I want to I just want to give send you guys a message, and you know, I, I I truly care about you guys. Like this is the reason I'm doing this this video. It's not because I want views or because of anything else, like or because I want money on this video. Like I don't care about that. Like, I'm solely doing this video. I was even contemplating about not, not doing it, but I'm solely doing this video just to send a positive message to you guys because I feel like it's very important and I feel like I haven't told you guys this enough. And I, I, I did a little bit, like I said, on the video I made about two years ago. I did talk a little bit about this, but I didn't really touch down enough. So I just wanted to do a video today. You know, whoever watches it, I'm happy. You know, just a message to you guys, man. Live life to the fullest. Please be smart. You know, chase your dreams, do what makes you happy. And the most important thing is try to be happy, man. Don't let all the little bullshit and the little the little dumb shit get to you. You know, someone's talking shit to you, who cares, man? If it's one guy, you know, if it's two guys, whatever, man. Like what they're just trying to put you down. Why stoop to a level, you know? Just let them be. Like just try try to ignore all the stupid little bullshit and just try to live happy. Be happy, man. That's so important in life and that's the one thing I love that my dad always told me, you know, be happy as long as you're happy. Like, that's what's important. And, you know, that's, that's a message that I try to take and do every day. But either way, guys, I know it's like a, this was a weird video, but it's a message I want to, you know, talk about life and stuff to you guys. Because I really care about you guys. And, you know, it's it's been a sad and crazy day. You know, just shocking, heartbreaking. It's just crazy anyway guys i'll talk to you guys tomorrow hope you all have a great day like i said live your life to the fullest life's too short love you all peace out